Okay, grade eights, now we're going to be doing the multiplication of integers and monomials with monomials, binomials, and trinomials. We're going to really deal with what we're actually saying here. Very importantly, make sure you've watched what is a monomial, binomial, and trinomial if you haven't done already. Okay, let's get straight into it. Multiplication of integers and monomials with monomials, binomials, and trinomials. What do we mean? Integers and monomials. Okay, that is simply integers, which is 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. It could be negative. We're going to do positive integers now. Monomials, that is any term x, 5x squared, 7y. This is a single term, a single term mono, right? There's no plus or minuses here. Remember, integers can also go negative 1, negative 2, all the way down. So we're going to multiply that with monomials, binomials, and trinomials. So what is that? So no longer integers. We're going to multiply that with, again, the same. That's single terms, single like term or single terms with binomials. Binomials are two separate unlike terms because we can't simplify it any further. These are all unlike. Y, Y squared, Y, X, X, nothing, constant. Trinomials, that's now three terms. So we have X squared, Y. These are all unlike terms. Otherwise, we would have simplified it. So we're going to multiply numbers like this with numbers like this, or values like this, expressions rather. So for example, we might go 3 times 5x squared. That would be an integer multiplied by a monomial. Or we go 3 multiplied by x squared plus 1. And that is an integer multiplied by a binomial. Or we can go 3 multiplied by 5x squared plus 3y plus 7, and that is an integer multiplied by a trinomial. What about 5x squared plus 5x squared um, times 5x squared? That is a monomial multiplied by a monomial. What about 5x squared plus now two, t two unlike terms? That is a monomial multiplied by a binomial. What about 5x squared multiplied by 5x squared plus 3y plus 7x? Again, a monomial multiplied by a trinomial. So remember, 4 is the same as 4x0, which is the same as 4 times 1, which is 4. Don't, let me just erase it there so you can see, that is a 4. Okay, so don't forget that. Now, we need to multiply the term on the outside, or the term outside the bracket, with every term inside the bracket. This is bod math. Don't forget bod math. Now, we don't need to worry about the order we do this. We're only going to do that when we're multiplying binomials with binomials. We're not doing that yet. Okay, so this is the same as 3 multiplied by 5x. Right, plus 3 multiplied by 3y, plus 3 multiplied by 3y, plus 3 multiplied by 7. Right? Remember, we're going to get rid of that multiplication, so we're going to say 15 times, two, um, 15 times x squared, plus 3y, plus 21, because we just simply times the constants together. Sorry, the coefficients together. What about 3x times 5x squared plus 3y plus 7? This is the same as 3x multiplied by 5x. I've drawn these in here to make it easier. Plus this term times that term plus 3x times y. So remember what we're doing here is we're timing that term by the first term, by the second term, and finally by the third term. So this is, don't forget that x times x is x squared. So x multiplied by x squared is x cubed. Let's not forget that. So this is going to be 15x cubed. That's going to be 9xy. x times y is xy plus 21x. Let's now look at 3yx times 5x squared plus 3y plus 7. So we're first going to times this term with this term. So that's going to be 3yx times 5x squared. Then we're going to times it with this term to get 3yx times 3y. Then we're going to finally times with the last term to get 3yx times 7. Okay, that we can simplify. 3 times 5 is 15. y times no other y is y. x times x squared is x cubed. 3 times 3 is 9. y times y is y squared x times nothing is x. 3, y, 3 times 7 is 21. 
y times nothing is y, x times nothing, or no other x. Just remember here, don't forget that that's 3yx multiplied by 7 y to the 0, x to the 0. So there are 1s here. You can just write the 1s here. And that is our answer. We're going to now practice some examples. 14 times 2x to the 12 plus 3y plus x. That is going to be equal to 14 times 2x squared. So we're going to put it in brackets instead. 2x12 plus 14 times 3y plus 14x and this is going to equal 14 times 2 is 28 that's a plus here 28 x to the power of 12 plus 14 times 3 is 30 or 42 y plus 14x and that is our answer 14x Okay, let's have a look at another example. xy times x plus y. So the first term times that term is simply equal to x times x is x squared times with a y. x times y, xy, xy times y is plus xy squared. Cool, you're getting this. Okay, x squared y times x plus y. So now we've got x squared times x, that is x cubed y. y. x squared plus y times y is now plus, we have the x squared plus y um, times y squared. Okay, I want you to keep practicing these, pause the video, practice it yourself. x squared y times x is equal to x cubed y. x squared y plus w times y is plus, remember there's a plus there, x squared y squared and what about the z we're simply going to go x squared y z that easy 2z times x cubed plus y squared is equal to 2z x remember i put a, a dash through my z x cubed plus 2z y squared okay let's look at one more section of examples 3, now this is now being multiplied by polynomial. There's more than three terms here. But that's fine. I want to just show you this. What is 3 times 3x squared? That's 9x squared. 3 times 3y is plus 3y. This is a constant. It's so easy to do. Plus 3x squared minus 3y. Okay, that easy. What about 4 plus y times 7x? I've put this on the other side now. But that's still going to be 4 times 7 is 21, sorry, 28x times y times 7x is 7xy. That easy. 1 plus x plus y times 0. Oh, anything times by 0 is going to equal 0. And we're now times in the entire bracket by 0. What about xy squared plus um, times z all times by x plus 1 plus z? xy squared times z times x is equal to x squared y squared z. Makes sense. We just added a z over there. Remember when we times integers, 1 plus 1 is 2. Here we have 1 times all of that, so it's going to stay exactly the same. When we multiply it by something by 1, it un is unchanged. And all of that multiplied by z, so remember there's a z of 1 and a z of 1 there, so x1 plus a z, x of naught is x to the 1, y2 times x, y of naught is y to the 2, times z squared, and that is our answer. I, you don't need to write y to the, um, x to the power of 1, I've just done that to show you. Let's look at the last example of, of this video, 4 squared, right, so that is 16, so we can leave that as 16, but we could simply write that as 4 squared times 2y squared minus 4 squared y squared minus 4 squared y. But wait a minute, what is this? These are common terms here. We have a y squared. So we could even write this as 4 squared. What is 2y minus y? That is simply y squared minus y. 
Now that makes it a bit easier. That makes that 4 squared y squared minus 4 squared y. And that is simply equal to 16 y squared minus 16 y. That easy. Underline our answer. Well then, grade 8, that was now multiplication of integers and monomials with monomials, binomials, and trinomials. Now we're going to get in, go, go into division.